Hello everyone, Capbeb here, and in this video I want to get into NEO and their recent earnings report that they just released. Also, if you'd like 30 free stocks and access to our private Discord chat, check the links in the description below. So guys, getting into it, NEO beat Wall Street estimates for quarterly revenue, and they forecasted the current quarter sales to be above expectations after we saw a rise in vehicle deliveries, despite the disruptions in their factories that were caused by the pandemic. NEO moved closer to profitability in its second quarter, as rising demand for electric vehicles helped the Shanghai company narrow its losses for the fourth quarter in a row. NEO said its second quarter loss shrank to 1.2 billion won from 3.3 billion won a year earlier and the company lost 1.1 billion won versus a loss of 3.2 billion won a year ago. Revenue more than doubled and beat estimates and because of this bullishness in the Chinese EV market the company forecast revenue between 4 billion won and 4.21 billion won for the third quarter. We also had previously talked about the demand for its ES6 and ES8 electric SUVs which continued to attract buyers as we saw NEO report deliveries of 3,000 533 vehicles in July which is a jump of about 322 percent year over year and they had delivered 17,702 vehicles so far in 2020 which is more than double from a year ago. Their CEO William Bin Lee said beyond the strong order growth we are proud to reach a milestone quarter with respect to the key financial metrics of the company highlighted with the historically high vehicle gross margin of 9.7 percent lowest ever operating losses and more importantly a positive cash flow for the first time in our history and he also said that the current constraints on the productions will be lifted in the near future and they're confident that their production capacity can meet the accelerated demand of their models so this is good news for new investors even though we are seeing the stock pull back today this can be tied into the fact that some investors are taking profits after we saw such a huge run-up in the stock over the last few months and one important thing to note is that tesla's registrations in china top 50,000 vehicles in the first half of 2020 and they're also prepping to begin producing the Model Y at its Shanghai plant. So this can cause some concerns for Neo stock, and it's just good to be aware of them heading into the near future. So guys, if you've been enjoying the videos so far, can you please drop a like? It really helps out the channel a lot with the algorithm, and I really appreciate it, and it lets me know you guys enjoy the content. So now let's get into the stock chart. So guys, getting into the chart of Neo, we do see that we're having a huge rejection here off of the earnings report, which was generally positive. But again, I think many investors are taking profits after this huge run-up that we were seeing. Now, what was the area that I was saying in my previous video where we could potentially get rejected by NEO? Well, it was this area over here where we were talking about around the $15 mark. And that's currently where we saw the stock pop open today at around that level and retrace back. Now, what am I seeing in the chart of NEO? Well, this is a pretty bearish candle, right? But the thing that I do like about this chart is that we do see over here, we're kind of having an ascending triangle formation based off of this area bouncing in the chart, right? Well, if we do start closing under this 20 exponential moving average, I do think that around the $11.50 mark, there can be a level of support, but that's very tentative. But that can still mean the ascending triangle formation that we are seeing over here can be intact. So it might take longer for this to play out, but the key area that I'm looking at right now on NEO's chart is if we do see a huge run-up over the next few days and a break and a close above the $15.50 region, I do think we'll trend much higher in the stock of NEO and we'll have new all-time highs. Now remember, they are expecting more deliveries in the next quarter, so that can also be a bullish long-term catalyst over the next few months. So again, if we do start breaking and closing above this region, I'm going to be more bullish. Currently, I am leaning more bearish based off of this huge bearish candle that we are seeing. It is kind of a shooting star candle because we did give back all the gains from the open of the day. But if we do start breaking and closing under this 20 exponential moving average, I do think we'll retest back to this level and potentially my ultimate capitulation level that I was labeling out for you guys at around this $9.50 mark, where we do see we still haven't closed this gap fully. And we have the 50 exponential moving average over here, the long-term resistance confluence that I've shown you guys on the weekly chart, and the 0.5 level on the Fibonacci sequence. So those three levels, I think, will line up for a nice bounce potentially in the stock of NEO. And I've outlined this trade for you guys several times where we would risk around 5% of our portfolio to potentially gain much higher upside and a continuation of this bullish pattern. Now again, this level still stands in my opinion as a potential bounce zone if we start breaking and closing under this region. Remember, a break and a close can signify more bearish confluence heading in the near term, and that would drive the stock price much lower. So overall, I am leaning more bearish, and I do think we can have a nice bounce off of this region if we do break under the 1150 mark. So if we do see a lot of bullish strength coming off of this level, guys, I do think we retest the top of this ascending triangle formation, and there can be more potential upside. Now let's head into the weekly chart to get a clearer picture. And look at the weekly chart, guys. We saw a huge rejection on this week, right? And I did think we could have trended much lower during that week, but we did get
get a lot of buy support. So you guys see this ascending triangle formation is creeping up, but currently this week we are seeing a pretty bearish candle where if we do start breaking and closing and engulfing this previous weekly candle, I do see the stock trending much lower and again getting supported by this level, which also has 20 exponential weekly moving average confluence sloping into this region. So keep an eye out again for this level. And you guys know that this is a region that I pointed out because this was the previous huge capitulation level that we saw in 2019. So again, we did break into this region, started trading above this previous resistance levels and we're establishing a new trading range so this again can act as a nice level of support because we do know that previous resistance likes to turn into new levels of support and again i really think this is a nice confluence level on the chart of neo to get supported if we do see a huge downtrend in the stock and we see four confluences right the daily moving average confluence from the 50 exponential moving average the 20 exponential weekly moving average that's sloping up into this area as well alongside with the 0.5 level on the fibonacci sequence and that previous resistance level where we saw the capitulation so all of these levels in my opinion can act as a nice level of support and that's an area you guys should keep an eye out if we do see a huge downtrend in the stock of neo so overall guys if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe it really helps out the channel a lot with the algorithm thank you guys for watching and have a great one